Hi, I'm Ren. I own Ren's Kitchen. And at Ren's Kitchen, what we do is teach people how to cook authentic Indian cooking. You want to get your oil really nice and hot because in this oil, we're going to add some black mustard seeds and cumin. So when your spices go in, they must fizz and sizzle immediately, which they're not doing at the moment. So we're going to wait, okay? We need to wait until the oil is hot enough. So that, hot, that oil is definitely hot enough. Look, when I put this cumin in, it's fizzing immediately. So I'm gonna put some cumin in with some black mustard. I'm gonna put the lid straight on, give it a little rock, and let those mustard seeds and the cumin cook. So you, you know when the black mustard seeds are finished cooking because they stop making a noise, they stop popping. So we're almost there. Now we have some fresh curry leaves that are going to go in. You have to be really careful with fresh curry leaves because sometimes they have a bit of water in, susceptible to splashing in the oil. So you have to be really careful. So the curry leaves go in, followed by finely chopped red onion. Now, if you don't have red onion, that's okay. You can use white onion, okay? It doesn't really matter. Red onion's better for digestion. It's a bit sweeter, but really don't worry, okay? I want this to be something that you can make when you're at home, that you don't have to particularly go out and purchase anything different. So we're going to let those onions go nice and brown, okay? And to, then we're gonna go to the sauce stage, which is adding in our coconut milk. So the onions have got really nice and brown. Okay, so now we're going to sauce stage. So what I'm going to add is a full can of coconut milk. So you, go, you want the water and you want the actual coconut on top. Just give that a little bit of a stir. Right, we're going to add some salt. and I'm going to add some cumin and coriander powder. Just a little bit of turmeric, you don't want a lot of turmeric in this. And then we're going to add a souring ingredient, which is tamarind, okay? So tamarind is very, very pungent, so you've got to be really careful about how much tamarind you add. But we're going to add some tamarind and something to make it hot. So traditionally, this curry would be something that would be quite hot, but of course it's up to you how much chili and ginger paste you use. So I'm going to add about a heaped teaspoon of this chili and ginger paste. And um, I'm going to add some cut garlic, just two cloves of crushed garlic into there. So that's your sauce, okay? And you, we, we need that sauce to develop a little bit. So we need that sauce to just cook for about 10 minutes, all right? You need to check it for seasoning, make sure it tastes nice. And we're going to put the lid on this now and just let this sauce cook before we add our chicken. Okay, so my coconut's been cooking for about 10 minutes and now I'm going to add my chicken. So the chicken that I've got here is chicken thigh, deboned, without any skin on it and just chopped into bite-sized pieces, okay? So I'm going to add all my chicken in and give that a really good stir. Now, it's really important at this stage that you don't add any water because the the chicken itself will release water but also as you can see the coconut is quite watery too so this is going to take about 20 minutes to cook so we're going to put the lid on but you do need to watch out and just um, we're going to turn the heat down you do need to look after this and make sure that you're watching the water and if there's too much water what I expect you to do is take the lid off, and if there isn't enough water, then just add a tiny drop at a time, don't add too much. So we're going to leave that to cook for about 20 minutes. So my chicken has been cooking in this lovely, delicious coconut sauce for about 20 minutes, and that's the consistency you want because you want to kind of be eating this with rice, okay? So again, as a last minute ingredient, coriander, fresh coriander goes in, gets stirred in, does smell really delicious. So give that a really good stir and then decant it into your serving bowl, ready for the table. And my recommendation would be to eat this with rice, okay? Plain boiled rice.